My name is Deborah, and this is my baby's story. Um, Hunter was a easy pregnancy and a relatively easy delivery. Um, although they brought him a, a week early because he'd stopped moving, but he turned out he was fine and not a problem. Um, he's just the light of my life. We were um, on our third day in the hospital getting ready to go home, and the doctor said she was worried he was a little too uh, yellow and his high bilirubin, so we had to go the next day and um, get another bilirubin test, and he has become kind of dehydrated and unresponsive, and so we had to be admitted. He was admitted to the hospital for a little over two days and in the incubator with his little sunglasses on so we couldn't get his eyes damaged by the light. It was really tough. The nurse, when we got admitted, said, oh, look, he looks like a little glow-in-the-dark baby, which was very um, upsetting to a new mom. But uh, it turns out he was pretty yellow and he needed those two days and then he brought him home and he's fine and he's wonderful and he's just a joy. Um, I work in women's and children's services with the neonatal unit and I gotta say it's um, my experience with Hunter has given me a lot more empathy as opposed to just sympathy for the families in the NICU because it was, it was a tough ride for me with something that I know is a normal problem that happens to a lot of babies. I couldn't imagine having an abnormal baby with all these questions um, that happens for the NICU. So I have a lot more empathy and uh, very grateful to March of Dimes and people working that um, to prevent problems like this for premature births and limit the number of families that have to go through that and um, provide so many options for families that do. So it's a real gift and I love my hunter every, every day. He's the thing that makes me smile. On a tough day, somebody asked me how things are going and um, if they say, how's Hunter, I just pep right up because he's fabulous and I love being a mom. This is my baby story.